partnered with Ref and with Lego and um, started doing first Lego League Junior and that's an engineering project where students are working with small teams to try and figure out a solution to a problem and this year it's called the Aqua Adventures. With this program the students were taking on something that was an actual problem within their water's journey. So whether it was that they were using too much water in the bathtub or pollution or even pipes bursting when they freeze. They were researching something that was real problems that existed in their world that they could see around them. In third grade every student learns about evaporation, precipitation, um, all of those steps, but they don't understand necessarily how humans use water and how our use affects the water cycle as well. How water is cleaned before it comes to us, how after uh, it leaves us it's cleaned again before it's put back into the river. Uh, that's just something that kids don't think about. When students start becoming more aware of their water use and how they're using it and what it's being used for so that they can identify problems in that human water cycle, that's when we are really starting to break into those critical thinking skills and making them aware of the world around them and not just their personal bubble of life. I learned that we have 2% of fresh water left and 1% of it is left in glaciers. Once students identified a problem that they needed to solve, they started thinking about a solution to that problem. Once they found their solution to their problem, they were able to identify a piece in that solution that they wanted to motorize. We have the LEGO We Do kits, and they would use the motor from the kits and find a way to build that into something bigger, like maybe a boat or a robotic arm. We're using a foam robotic hand that picks up the phone and puts it on a house where the fire is. It saves the water so that we don't use that much because water is valuable. We talked about pipes freezing and we, the, how we solved it was we were go, like, we would put a tilt sensor inside and so when it started freezing, it was like below 32 degrees or over 32 degrees. So it would know so that it, the pipes won't start freezing. I like to build with Legos and like make cool stuff that nobody says ever invented before. One of the things that we value here in the Gifted program is engineering and the design process and just thinking creatively and coming up with solutions for different problems. And we felt like this was a very engaging activity that students could take on and we thought, ooh, Legos, like Legos would be an awesome thing that kids would love to build with and they would also get to do some research and have a showcase where they could show off what they did. So they really are going through the, t the entire engineering design process just like any engineer would to propose a solution for a problem. My favorite part of the project was learning to build and create with Legos and motorizing the Lego Inspire model with gears and rubber bands. So once we had a motorized piece that had been built with Legos, they would then go onto a tablet and use the Lego We Do 2.0 software in order to program that piece. Now the way that they would do that is they have lots of little pictures. It's called block programming or blockly and they would drag these different pictures together in order to make a sequence of events that they would want to happen. It's a lot of trial and error, which is great when we're emphasizing the um, design process and when we're emphasizing uh, failure and learning through exploration because then students can really decide, okay, I'm not sure what this piece does, but if I try it out, let's see what happens. We added a few different codes because we're, we were gonna need them to solve our problem. So it, I liked it because programming is fun. My favorite part about the projects are building the models and programming the robots and finding solutions for the problems. Uh, my favorite part of the projects were uh, programming, building, uh, creativity, and teamwork. Well, I learned that we have to be patient we can't all do the same thing at once because it gets too cluttered and people start to get frustrated. I've learned that your teammates can help you by if your idea isn't the best, theirs might be, and they help a lot. It really helps them to understand that working in a team takes more than just their ideas and it takes a group's idea to make it really come together. 
Without the grant funds from REF, we wouldn't have been able to complete this project. So thank you so much, REF, for this opportunity.